This is going to be the craziest transformation you're going to see on YouTube. This is a seven day water fast coupled with intensive exercise. I just did six hours. Also, I just want to mention that this is not medical advice. Talk to a professional before you do any weight loss program. This is just an experiment. I just did six hours of very intense weightlifting. I'm currently 190 pounds, six foot four. I'm going to be absolutely shredded by the 13th, seven days from now, March 13th, 2024. This is just a test to see what the human body can do. Okay guys, so I weighed in at 192.8 pounds. I misspoke. I thought I was 191. I actually weighed in at 192.8 pounds today at 11 a.m. before I started the fast. Well, that's actually right when I started the fast. This is me at the gym. Also, as you can see, I checked in at 4.25 p.m. today at Planet Fitness. I am currently at 10 hours and 37 minutes into my fast. This is me right after the gym. More photos of me after the gym. I promise you, I'm not this self-obsessed. This is just for science. Love handles. One more photo. And another photo. Alrighty. Okay, guys, I just got home. I checked in at Planet Fitness at 4.25 p.m. today. And then I walked home and I got home at 9.40 p.m. Yes, I am counting walking as part of the workout because technically it kind of is. It's exercise. So that's about five hours and 15 minutes. Five hours and 20 minutes maybe. This is going to be a crazy transformation. You're not going to see this anywhere else on YouTube. I guarantee you. Also, please, once again, this is not medical advice. Do not do what I'm doing. Talk to your doctor before you do any weight loss program. I cannot stress that enough. This is not medical advice. This is just, I just want to see what my body can do. It's going to be a seven day water fast, nothing but water well, and electrolytes, maybe a multivitamin or coffee or low calorie diet soda that's like zero calories or something. Absolutely no calories are going to be consumed. And that's going to be coupled with at least two hours of very intense exercise, most likely like three to four, possibly five hours of very intense weightlifting. And I'm talking full body, like I'm doing legs, abs, calves, chest, lats. Look, look, every part of my body is going to be worked out. It's a full body workout, very intense to failure. I'm not talking about muscle failure. I just mean failure as in I can't do any more reps. So you're going to see some crazy results. This is going to be a very intense transformation. I cannot stress that enough. And once again, please, this is not medical advice. I do not recommend anyone do this. Talk to your doctor. I'm not a, med a medical professional. So YouTube, do not take this video down or give me a strike. Also, if anyone's lacking motivation or wondering how are these people completing these seven-day fasts, it's so hard. This is, a, this is a great tip that helped me. Check out Tony Robbins' swish method. It wires the subconscious brain to achieve your goals. Okay? That's what I do every single morning. I prime myself and I visualize myself pushing away the food, throwing away the food. I visualize the, the weight melting off of me, that six pack abs. The image in my head is extremely ideal. Sometimes I envision a fat version of myself and then I have a better ideal version of myself that's like absolutely ripped. Smash through that, that image. You're gonna wire your subconscious brain. That's how I did it and it will make it a lot easier. Tony Robbins swish method, also Tony Robbins priming. It'll help with anything really, not just, not just weightlifting or weight loss, any goals. Getting good grades in school, getting that job you've always wanted, making more money. Also, if you want to see more crazy like transformations or weight loss transformations, you got to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We can join forces. You could learn a lot. We could both learn a lot. All right. No, I'm not a medical professional. Make that clear. No recommendation at all. Talk to your doctor. This is just an experiment. YouTube, do not cancel me. Look, one more thing, guys. One more tip. That is absolutely essential when trying to achieve your weight loss goals. Don't walk around the gym with your head down, shoulders hunched, you know, 
chest sunken in. Hold your head slightly above chin level. Don't be afraid to make eye contact. Don't be afraid to, to look around the gym area. Everyone there is just as insecure as you. I don't care if you have to force yourself to stand up straight, hold your head up, chest out, making eye contact. I don't care. Force yourself to do it. Because when you do it, your emotions will follow. And you will actually become that confident person. It's called act to feel. I also learned that by Tony Robbins. Act the way you want to feel. I believe anyone should be doing this. You deserve it. You deserve to feel that way. No one deserves to be feeling like crap. And guess what? If you look like crap, if you act like crap, you're going to feel like crap. There's been so many studies showing that when you breathe deeper, chest out, head high, back straight, your emotions will follow your behavior. Your body tells your mind how to feel. So when you're at the gym, hold your head high, chest out, back straight, feet shoulder, shoulder length apart. Don't be afraid to take up space. Don't be afraid. People are like snakes. Not that they're bad, but they're just as scared as you, as you are of them. And you're going to get very comfortable doing this. Also, one more thing. Slow your body language down. Slow your speaking down. Slow your eye movements down. Just slow it all down. Don't be afraid to take a stroll around the gym. You're in control. You're in control of your environment. Your environment doesn't control you. You're not in reaction to your environment. That's going to make the workout journey a lot easier. Because working out is, working out is difficult when you feel like crap and you're not confident. You're actually gonna look forward to going to the gym because you're gonna associate that with feeling good and feeling confident and good about yourself.